Hi, Eric Jibo, EricJibo.com and today I'm going to present you, well, already did an unboxing video, I'll leave it here, about this camera, the OM System OM1 Olympus, and uh, this is the first of four videos, five in total, but uh, four videos a part of uh, the unboxing, uh, which is uh, my general review of this uh, camera, and then there will be two about uh, specific uh, features about photography, that this camera can do and then an extra one about video features of this camera so this, this is the first out of four okay thank you very much to digit photo in france who sent me the camera so i did not have to wait for olympus by om digital solution to send it to me so i'm really thankful to them i'll leave you links of their website and link to the uh, product in description so you can have a look at it so let's start this is probably the most difficult review I'm doing. Why? Because I've noticed that for many years people have been following my YouTube channel. Many people have uh, started to use Olympus because of my videos. They actually comment, uh, comment it very often or they send me email to tell it to me. And uh, they really, uh, many of them really uh, want my opinion, my honest opinion to know if it's worth getting this camera. Others is not just this camera, but the system itself, uh, because they're not using Micro Four Thirds or they're not using uh, OM Digital Solution or Olympus, and they need to know, they want to know if it's worth doing it or not. But for me, it's hard because I'm so stuck to the product. I've been using uh, Micro Four Thirds and Olympus uh, for seven years now. So sometimes there are some things that maybe are not perfect, but I don't even notice it because I'm used to it. Or because this is a feature I don't really use and I'm not uh, aware that it's a problem or whatever so it's hard for me to be uh, as honest as possible I'm honest but it's hard to be as objective as possible so I've tried as much as I could to uh, test the camera test things some people criticize some points so uh, maybe I agree with them or maybe I don't agree with them but I try to give my uh, opinion on what I've noticed okay and I will try to give you well, to tell you exactly what I found, what I liked, what I didn't like, and things like this, okay? So forgive me if I forget some points, and uh, if you uh, feel I'm too fanatic, well, you can tell me, okay? But honestly, I've been working really hard on this camera to try to give my best and most sincere opinion. So let's carry on. I already gave some uh, technical details when I made the, the unboxing uh, that, that was here, okay? And uh, I'm not going to enter each feature of this camera. Why? Because uh, many people want to have a general opinion. Uh, they want the result, my conclusion. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. I will repeat some uh, key feature. I will also enter some features that some pe people are criticizing uh, on uh, social networks or YouTube, telling, telling that this works, this doesn't work. And some are waiting for my opinion about if I agree with it or if I don't agree with it, because they need uh, not just my opinion, but many opinions to decide if this camera is for them or not. So it's going to be uh, the general uh, way I'm going to do with, uh, I'm going to speak about this camera, uh, speak with about some features, but also some people are not really interested in buying that kind of camera. So they don't really want to know each feature or they work all this. So I'll leave that for the next three videos where I will really go one feature after one, explain how it works, what you get and all this. So in case this is the first time you hear about Olympus or OM system, I'm going to use some uh, technical details anyway. So this is a mirrorless camera with a micro four thirds sensor of 20.4 megapixel. And this is a stacked sensor. This is the first stacked sensor in this format, micro four thirds, okay? So this helps many things first it gives better dynamic range it gives uh, less noise at high iso and also it allows to have quad peaks uh, autofocus or quad autofocus and it's really faster and you have many more points 1053 points uh, autofocus points so this is really really good and fast actually you can do a 50 frame per second with continuous autofocus 
and if you uh, go for single autofocus then it's up to 120 frames per second this is really crazy uh, actually the autofocus is uh, does many things it detects uh, obviously eye and face okay but then uh, plane train if you see I check here I'm checking my notes because there are many many features okay uh, planes train uh, birds uh, cats dogs uh, helicopter motorbikes many many things okay so really really uh, uh, the idea is really action and you can really uh, follow things okay but we'll see more details about that okay and then the uh, ibis is even better than before well not much to speak about because uh, for me olympus om system now has the best stabilizer you can ever imagine this is incredible okay they've added some uh, video 4k 60p they're not the only one so that's nice it's here okay but well other do it too okay and then we, what I was really surprised is actually the viewfinder. For me, a viewfinder, uh, when you've used a Leica M camera, that when you look through the viewfinder, it looks like a, a window without glass. It's perfect. Any other viewfinder looks bad to me, okay? So when I was using my Olympus OMD5 Mark II, for me, it was a simple indicator to know if my framing was fine and to have some technical details in there, okay, information. But not really to see really nice, okay? On this viewfinder, I'm really surprised. Uh, this is not a Leica M, obviously, well, you can imagine, okay? But still, I think this is really close to a reflex camera. It really looks so nice. I was really, really, really surprised, okay? So there are many, many features in here. I'm going to uh, speak about some of them, give my conclusion. I'll show you also some pictures I've made. So let's carry on speaking about this, uh, what is for me a fantastic camera so far, okay? So a quick visit, I already made the visit in the unboxing, but in the unboxing, it was my first impression. First time I had it in my hand. Now I've been uh, using it for uh, about 10 days, a week to 10 days, okay? So uh, I can give you really my, uh, how I feel about the camera. Wonderful. It really, on my hand, is not too small, not too big, but as you can see, it fits. I don't have the typical fingers that goes under uh, under it. It fits even without grip, okay? The hold, it's, it's really incredible, really incredible. The button just fall at the right right place, okay? Uh, like here, I was doing the ISO test in the dark, and the, the ISO button is here. I didn't have to check I was looking here, I knew exactly where it was. It was so easy to use. The, the, everything is at the right place. And here you have, for example, a depth of field and a white balance button. It's just at the right place. Maybe if you had really big fingers, maybe. I'm not sure it would fit, but for me, it's perfect, okay? And uh, there are things like this. Uh, before, you have the typical uh, autofocus on or the uh, auto exposure lock, okay? It normally on one it it was usually on one unique button and you would decide what it was for okay so if you wanted to separate it to do uh, the back button focus autofocus uh, you would have to uh, unuse the uh, auto exposure lock and or maybe uh, configure it to uh, another place okay another button because all uh, buttons can be uh, configured uh, in a different way okay but in this case they've put two buttons so if you want to do back button focus you have this button available and you're not using something else or uh, taking something else out so this is really perfect and now if we speak about the menus oh my god this is incredible this is what i call canon menus I criticize Canon cameras very often for a Canon uh, policy, not for the cameras itself, but for the, their policy, okay? But I always say that uh, Canon menus are the best menus. Well, these honestly are Canon menus, okay? You check here, okay? They're organized by colors, okay? As you can see, and then you can navigate in there, okay? Let's put, uh, 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 sorry, uh, I click here, okay? And uh, I move here, I can, go uh, change uh, each uh, place so what you don't see in the screen is simply not there you don't have to scroll down and you cannot find and then you get to the end and it's not what you wanted you have to go another section no no if you don't see it on the screen it's simply not in this section you don't have to scroll anything so honestly i think that om system should start uh, to uh, give the possibility to older scammer older cameras to have this menu system 
Some people maybe don't want to learn a new system, so they don't want to change. So it to, would need to be an option that uh, do you want to update your uh, menu, sy menu system or not? Okay, that would be fantastic, honestly. But to give you an idea, for someone who knows how to use a camera, it takes about five minutes to know how to use these menus. Okay, with the uh, older OM system or Olympus uh, menus. If you knew about the terms and the wording and things like this and the features, I would say it would take five to uh, four to five hours to really understand and use the menus. Okay, if you knew about it. If you did not know, maybe someone who was a beginner, it would take weeks to really understand the menus, what they were for, and how they worked, all that. So honestly, this is brilliant. Honestly, so please uh, put them in all your cameras and give the option to uh, update the menus everywhere. Uh, yes, I'm going to criticize one little thing, okay? I need to criticize something, otherwise uh, I lose my credibility, okay? So, well, when you are within the menus, if you go to uh, something here, okay? And you say, no, I didn't want that. I want to go back uh, one level up, okay? You need to press the menu button again, okay? So. It means you need to use uh, both uh, hands and both uh, two fingers to use it. For me, it's not a problem because I always, I've always done it this way. I press and then I press back here, okay? It didn't bother me, but it would be uh, really useful for some people who want to use just one finger to use all the back arrow or one of these uh, arrows here to actually uh, jump somewhere else, okay, to one up one level, okay, to be able to check, change that in one hand, okay. I think they can uh, firmware update this without any problem, okay. But this is probably the only thing I've criticized in the menus, okay. So I got it wet, okay? So uh, I hope there will be no problem. Normally, uh, if problem appears, it's several days after, but I don't think there will be any problem anyway. Uh, that would be a big problem if it did, okay? But make sure when you do this uh, to have also a lens that is uh, weather sealed because otherwise water would get in, okay? So I think it's great you can do that because very often you make picture close to the sea. So it's not actually wet, but you have uh, like salt in the air. So it's important you can uh, wash your camera as it really helps. So you can put uh, clean water, uh, uh, I don't know what you call that, uh, normal water, tap water, whatever, and you uh, wipe it just after uh, to make sure it's dry, okay? So if you remove the lens, you don't get uh, water that gets in there, okay, anyway? But that's really nice to have this uh, possibility to have a really seriously weather sealed camera. So let's carry on with the visit. Oh, here you have a remote control connector here, okay? Here you have dual SD card. So uh, you see this is the, the, the Pro ID. Uh, Pro normally don't want or cannot afford to lose uh, pictures or have a card, card damage or whatever. But it's not just Pro. Some people want to organize their uh, pictures or video in a way. Okay, like my RAW file here and my JPEG here. I want when this one is full, this one starts filling up. I want backup of both. Uh, or I want uh, my uh, pictures here, my video there. Well, any combination you can imagine, you can do it. Okay. Then on the other side here, you have a microphone connector that is here, 3.5 jack. Here you have headphone connector, 3.5 also. And here you have uh, two connectors. One is a USB-C 3. Uh, you must use a, a OM system cable. It's recommended. Uh, it's special cable. Okay, it's still standard a USB-C, but they they recommend to use their cable. And also, you can here connect to a computer or charge a battery with the chargers that come with the the camera uh, to connect in there. The battery charger camera, uh, the the battery in the body. Okay. And uh, if you want to charge it outside the body, then you need an optional charger. And then you also have, or you can put a power bank also, well, whatever you can imagine, okay? And then you have the HDMI. This is a micro HDMI. And I think it's a pity because a camera that says that they want to uh, give uh, pro features, 
I think they should have put a full shot HDMI, not a micro HDMI. Anyway, there is an accessory that I showed in, in the unboxing uh, video that you can place it here so it protects the cable. But still, I think it would be great to have a full shot HDMI connector, okay? So you have an idea of uh, IBIS. I'm going to uh, make the camera vibrate so uh, you see uh, the result, okay? So uh, let's go for it, okay? Right now, and let's say I'm walking, okay? As you can see, I'm uh, moving like this. As you can see, I'm shaking, okay? So I show you the results to so see, uh, obviously the framing may be changing. Okay, so you see, you get an idea of, of the results, okay? Obviously, I'm so close that uh, it's, if you move one centimeter at this distance, you will always notice it. And if it's a, a far distance, like 10 meters, 20 meters, obviously. So it was a bit of an extreme show uh, demonstration, so, but you give you get an idea, okay? So uh, the IBIS is really incredible. You could perfectly do some vlogging, walking with a camera in your hand, and this is no problem, okay? So let's speak about speed. If we look at the mechanical uh, shutter, it goes from uh, 60 seconds up to one eight thousandth of a second. Uh, something I never understood. If you go for bulb mode, it's 30 minutes, okay? But why do you need to go to bulb mode? Uh, why can you, can't you uh, drop speed and drop, drop, drop until the maximum? I don't know. It's not an uh, Olympus problem or uh, OM system problem. It's m all cameras. Many just thought of 30 seconds, this one is 60 seconds, okay? But in the case of bulb mode, it's maximum 30 minutes, so that could uh, sound short for some people who want to do one hour exposure. It is not a problem because OM system has the live composite mode that you can actually extend the time with several pictures and they get together, okay? I'll explain it, uh, this feature in a separate video, okay? But it means you could do a uh, more time and uh, a lot longer than 30 minute exposure without any problem. Now, if we speak about the electronic shutter, it goes from 60 seconds up to 132 thousandths of a second, which is uh, short enough to freeze a lot of things, okay? Now, let's speak about resolution. You know, I said before, you have 20.4 megapixels, but you could actually have a lot more because uh, you can have high-res mode. It means the uh, sensor is going to shift uh, its direction of pixel, and you can get handheld 50 million pixel or uh, on a tripod 80 up to 80 million pixel. And this is fantastic because uh, it means if uh, your subject is not moving, like product photography or uh, architecture or monument whatever okay you could get really high resolution if you need it and also a great point is that uh, there's something that is physical i don't know you explained that but uh, there was a, a, a way of doing it before you would uh, vibrate let your camera vibrate and make many pictures then get them together in a software on your computer and it would erase the noise but in this case the same thing happens when you are um, on 50 million uh, pixel and held uh, or 80 on a tripod with really high ISO, there is uh, less noise. Why? Because it seems like uh, it erases the noise, okay? So this is fantastic in case you wanted high resolution and no noise. One thing, when you're in high resolution, you don't get uh, the flash to work, okay? Well, that's it. Let's speak about the ISO. Well, I'm not the right person to speak about the ISO because uh, I use my OMD EM5 Mark II and I never go over 1600 uh, ISO because from there I don't need it and then it's too noisy anyway, okay? So it's hard for me to compare because it looks really better, but is it a lot better than the OMD One Mark III? I cannot say. I, th I tested it, so I do think, yes, probably it is better. Is it really two stop better? Well cannot say much okay anyway I never uh, test uh, the extended ISO but for people that to say I'm a fanboy I did this time so the native ISO goes from 20,000 up to 
25600 uh, ISO, the native one, and then you can actually force it down to 80 ISO and uh, upward 102,400 ISOs, which is massive. Okay, so I would say up to 6400. I would use it without any problem, without any cleaning, nothing, straight, okay? 12,000, 12,800, maybe I would need to clean a bit the noise, but really acceptable. 25,000, this is savable, but you have some work on cleaning it. And over that, this is for paparazzi who don't really care about the quality. They just want to make sure you recognize that there is a famous person on the picture, okay? But the noise is so much on really high ISO that it looks, like, it looks more like a pizza with all the ingredients than a picture, okay? So yes, I think they have better the ISO. Could I say they have better to stop? Honestly, I cannot say because I don't have to compare. I don't have uh, enough uh, material to compare, okay? But for what I do, yes, for me, it's a big jump. Uh, from 1600 uh, worrying to uh, 6400 without worrying, yes, it is a big jump. Still, I do think that when you use Micro Four Third, you don't actually need uh, to go uh, to 25,000 uh, 25, ISO and things like this. But well, that's my opinion, okay? But anyway, uh, DP Review made a, a test with a, a rugby match and it was a bad lit. They made all the picture at 6,400 ISO and the results were really good. So I think uh, for people who want to do sport photography in low light, this is a big proof that uh, it's completely possible, okay? White balance from 2000 Kelvin up to 14,000 uh, Kelvin. So I think uh, the, the, the range is really, really wide, okay? So that's fine. Dynamic range, well, uh, same thing. It's hard for me to compare because uh, my uh, OMD5 Mark II is more limited than this. But what's really surprised me is that normally in Micro Four Third, uh, getting back your uh, shadows is really problematic. You get a lot of noise, all this. And in this case, no. I could really get back my shadows with not much problem. Uh, better than the highlights. Uh, actually, the highlights uh, were fine too because I, I, the typical way to do is to uh, stick to your highlights and then uh, get your uh, and then get down your shadows after in post production. In this case, this is no problem. I, I was really surprised that uh, in low light, uh, in the, the low light, in the low uh, areas or little light areas or shadow areas, I could get uh, details back a lot better than other Micro Four that I've tested or the one I use normally, the OMD5 Mark II. So I was really pleased with that. Is it better than other brands? I cannot say, okay? Uh, for me, it was fine for what I was doing. I think that uh, most people could get perfect with that. Anyway, that most people who claim uh, they want a really high dynamic range, most of the time, they don't have a screen that allow them to see it properly. So it doesn't matter, okay? But for me, Honestly, I think that was fine. Is it better than before? Obviously, it is compared to what I have, okay? Uh, better than others? I cannot tell you. So, let's go to the main dish, the autofocus. Well, I tried the continuous, uh, well, the system, the detection system, several things uh, with uh, plane, surfers, kitesurf, and uh, Molly, which is uh, the small dog of uh, Claudia Reyes, bird. So, the plane, Incredible. First, when it sees the plane, it makes a small uh, square around it, and then when it comes closer, you have a rectangle around the 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 the, the, the plane and the wing. Okay, if it's sideways, the full uh, side. Okay, incredible. It's impossible to miss a picture. Impossible. Okay, uh, you can miss a picture because you don't know how to frame, but it's impossible to miss because uh, you don't know uh, because you have a problem with autofocus. I even tried uh, to point uh, away. And wait for the plane to cross uh, in front of the camera. From the second it crossed, the rectangle would appear. Uh, it will uh, capture the plane. No problem. Really incredible. With surfers, perfect. Also, I could really follow, track the surfers. Absolutely no problem from start to finish. Really incredible. Really fantastic. Okay. And then let's speak about Molly, the small dog. Okay. Well, I told her to uh, run towards me. Okay. And uh, I, had, I needed to make three tests, three, uh, three times I had to repeat because I was not convinced about the results. Uh, I made a 2.8 because I wanted the, to have the face in focus and the body uh, out of focus to see how it would look. 
Then I had to try it on F4 because I saw some problem. And then I tried without tracking, just with continuous autofocus. And curiously, it worked better without the tracking to have just a continuous autofocus. It worked better for me, okay? Because when uh, she was coming really close, but not too close, I made with a 40 to 150 millimeter 2.8, which is a lens I have now. I bought it uh, second hand. Thank you for the seller who made a great price, okay? And uh, I think the lens is fine. It's okay. I don't think there's any problem with it, okay? But even when I was five, six meters away, I would lose focus on the face and could focus on the body. So I don't know if you if she was running too fast. I, I'm not sure. It's supposed not to, to be a problem, okay? But still, I would uh, lose the focus on the face, maybe because the eyes confuse uh, with the, the, the hair. I'm not sure. I don't know. But uh, in this case, running toward me, the camera uh, autofocus had problem to uh, get perfect, okay? When she was further away, that was no problem. Fine, it worked perfect, okay? But when she came closer, then I would lose the autofocus on the face and would go on the body, okay? Could be better, probably. So, I'm not sure. Then we speak about the birds. I could not get birds in flight because I'm really too bad. Just one, I'll show you here. It wasn't focused. But then otherwise, uh, birds away, it would really uh, detect the, the eye of the bird. Really easy, really f easy. Uh, incredible, okay? So what can I say about the, uh, this uh, following focus? Uh, many more options. i try this one, okay? I think I will do another video later. Not now, not within these four videos, but later when... Uh, OM system uh, update the firmware because it would probably better that part to test some more but so far I think it works fine it works it could be better yeah probably with them at least with a small dog <laughs> it would be better I suppose but with planes people do spotting they would they will love it it's impossible to miss a picture maybe you can frame wrong but it's impossible to get it out of focus same thing with surfers it was perfect uh, if I looked at uh, Kite, uh, uh, kite, kite surf also it was fine and the bird was fine just with a small dog it was a bit of a problem but I don't know if you always get a, a dog to run that close to you anyway I was still within the minimum distance focusing distance so it should not have, been, not have been a problem but well that's it okay so so far for me the autofocus is a lot better than what I had it does work and I think it can be better surely okay let's speak about a uh, burst rate uh, frame per second uh, when you make pictures well uh, the mechanical shutter gives you 10 frames per second which is well that's okay there are other cameras that do it okay but when you go on the electronic shutter we speak about 50 frames per second no blackout and with continuous autofocus and if you deactivate the, the, the continuous autofocus and go on to single, then it's 120 frames per second, which is impressive. So if your subject is not a uh, moving plane, that no problem. You can uh, make the, the, the picture and you keep, the tra you, you, keep, you keep making pictures and it's still in focus, okay? But still, 50 frames per second, this is crazy. This is crazy. Honestly, I don't need that for what I do. And I made pictures of plane landing with four planes, I had already 200 pictures, which is far too much. With one of each, I would have been happy, okay? But for someone who make uh, action pictures, to have the full development of the action, this is brilliant. The result is there. Actually, I made pictures of a surfer. You see the guy starting on the wave, or girl, I don't know, it was far, okay? And you see the whole thing, and you don't lose autofocus during this. I think this is impressive. This is uh, great. So honestly, I think people who do action photography will be really happy with this possibility. Well, there are many more features that there were that some were already on, on Olympus and some are maybe a better or new whatever on this OM system. Some I didn't have on my camera, but they still exist already existed on some other uh, higher level uh, model uh, cameras. Okay, uh, by uh, Olympus. For example, the Pro Capture is a system when you do action photography and you have someone that is running with a ball, maybe he's going to score a goal, okay, a football player, for example, and you're not sure when he's going to hit the ball. Well, you press, you half press your, your trigger, it starts making picture, keep the last one, uh, the last uh, several ones, like 16 last one, until when it's the action, then you click, well, you, you press the shutter, definitely, and the trigger, and then it starts making a burst rate, okay, uh, several pictures, okay. And so you have the picture before, you keep like 16 pictures, I think, before you actually press the button. And 
of course after so it means you cannot lose any key action any moment okay so i think this is fantastic i did not have it on my camera so i think this is great but i will explain in details in uh, the following uh, videos uh, how this feature work you also have also have the live composite the lifetime live composite lifetime for long exposure photography you also have the live nd that i never tried before it means like you can simulate an nd filter and uh, if I make a picture, I'll show you one like right now, I can uh, simulate up to ND64, which is six stops. So I can actually make a long exposure photography handheld. So uh, this is a great feature, I loved it, okay? And then you have more things like people want to have scene mode, you have 16 scene mode, so you have some special effects and things like this. One thing I really liked, I don't have a thing on my camera, which is a flicker scan. It means uh, if you have light that is flickering because of uh, light frequency, or whatever, you can actually calculate uh, the system to scan it and actually put the right speed in your camera, so uh, it does the flickering is not affecting what you're uh, recording or the picture you're making. So this is uh, fantastic. So. Honestly, there are many, 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 many features. So I've spoke about the main one and my main impression. So uh, I will get in details with uh, more videos, okay? There are many, many, many more things like uh, HDR, for example, or many type of bracketing, things like focus stacking, for example, that makes several pictures uh, moving the point of focus. So uh, when it's stacked together after, you get more depth of field. So really useful in macro photography, landscape, things like this. Uh, many uh, features like uh, all type of bracketing uh, what well, I'm, sh I'm sure I forget some uh, well, some black and white filters like if you do black and white photography you have these color uh, uh, filters that uh, to help to get better black and white or different contrast all this there are many 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 possibilities I did not speak about video because uh, there there are so many things to speak about video that I will speak about it in the special uh, video about it okay which is not the next one not the following one but the fourth one of the series okay so uh, still I can sell, sell a few things it does uh, 4k up to 60 frames per second and also it does but that many cameras do do that but also it offers 120 and 240 frames per second in full hd that sounds brilliant but uh, you must know that you will not get autofocus in this situation it's true that i always say many people say that a real videographer use manual focus they don't do autofocus but still, we are not all real videographer. I am not a real videographer. So it's true that sometimes it would be fantastic to have uh, the help of uh, an autofocus in any situation, okay? So, uh, but if you were really expecting this feature, you know, uh, I tell you already that you don't get autofocus. But we'll get uh, uh, in depth uh, analyze of the video uh, feature in the special video. So this is why I didn't speak in this one, okay? So my conclusion. Am I surprised with this camera? Is it still the wall camera? Wow camera? Well, I was really surprised when I received it. I was really surprised when I opened it. Well, I, really, I was already surprised when I announced it. Surprised when I received it. Surprised when I used it. I'm really happy about it. Do I need this camera? Maybe not. What I had was fine. Okay. Uh, but there are many features I really love and we start making some pictures I didn't do before like uh, surf, uh, surfer photography and things like this I, I'm really happy with the camera uh, who is it for? Uh, or if you already have an OMD 1 Mark 3 or a 1X is it worth buying it? Well, probably not. Uh, is it better? Yes. But is it that much better to sell your gear and maybe lose some money selling it and get this one? Probably not, except if there is one specific feature that is a lot better on this camera than the one you have, and then it's worth it. But otherwise, maybe I would not change cameras. But in my case, I have the OMD 5 Mark II, and I think if everyone who has that camera, or uh, OMD 10, or 1 Mark II, will see such a big jump there, they will really appreciate changing, okay? So I think, I think it's worth changing. Uh, but uh, if you cannot afford it, uh, keep what you have or if you are not using an uh, OM system yet uh, you would love some of the features don't forget that there are some features that are in this camera they are also in uh, other uh, level cameras within the, the the system the OM system okay so like uh, 
Pro Capture, you have it uh, since the OMD 1 Mark II, okay? You don't have it on the 5 Mark II, but you have it on the 5 Mark III, or uh, the ND filter you have on the 1 Mark III. So there are several things that maybe you liked what you saw here, and uh, you could get it in a more entry level or lower level, if you can call that level, uh, camera within the system. So uh, don't uh, get sad if you cannot afford to pay uh, so much for another camera, or you don't feel like it's worth paying so much, but still some uh, feature you like. So well. Uh, pick another one from the from uh, OM system and you will probably see uh, things you really love Okay, so honestly uh, for what I had so far the 5 mark 2 I could have kept it uh, longer Because I would uh, have been doing the same kind of picture for the last 10 years or more. Okay, so that would not be a problem but I still think that things that are better uh, dual card is more safe uh, safety for me when I do things for clients and things like this so I, I'm really happy with the camera can I recommend this camera? Yeah, sure, no problem. Can it be better? Yeah, there are some things that could be better, probably. Is it the wall camera? For me, it is. For some people, it's not. It all depends. But honestly, uh, I don't think any brand want to make a wall camera because uh, that would be the definite camera and uh, then it would not sell any more cameras after, okay? What the point? Uh, if it's the definite camera, what are you going to make after that and sell after that okay so i think this is this is a fantastic camera honestly uh it could be better some yeah i think uh the focus tracking with the dog could have been better but maybe it's because i didn't tune perfectly the camera i don't know it yet but it was fair to other camera i test to spend the same time on it okay I will have more time after, but still, to give my first impression, that was logical to uh, to have the same uh, way of uh, proceeding. Okay, so uh, I could uh, be fair with other and give my first impression. So I definitely recommend the camera. I really like it, and uh, I think anyone who would uh, buy it will be happy with it. Uh, at least for the photography side, I've tested. Okay, we'll see about video in. F uh, further video okay so next week i will have uh, another video about uh, more photography feature than the following one another one following week another one and then the following week uh, another one about video okay so so far i must say this camera is completely recommendable so thank you very much digit photo for sending it to me i'll leave you links of their company even if they're in france you can still buy uh, being abroad uh, abroad man, any country out of france okay abroad for french people and uh, in france is abroad for you okay so no problem but yeah i'll leave you links of the company and uh, the website and the and the, the camera body obviously uh, right now it's really hard to get them anywhere in the world so uh, there is a waiting list on every seller okay so if you want to get on the waiting list with them do it no problem okay so thank you very much to them for sending me the camera thank you very much to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel there's a button down here, so a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. Also leave you links of my on Amazon, links to everything I reviewed by KF Concept and Sendmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.